Many people use the internet every day. As of July 2020, 4.5 billion people were active users. As of January 2020, 1.7 billion websites were on the internet. Websites are made by registering a domain name and using a web hosting service which makes the website visible to people on the World Wide Web. The oldest website on the internet is still active today and this video will show the history behind it. The first domain name registered on the World Wide Web is Symbolics.com. It was registered on March 15, 1985 to Symbolics Incorporated, a computer systems company in Cambridge, Massachusetts founded by Russell Noftsker. Symbolics is best known for developing a computer language called Lisp, which is the second oldest high-level programming language still in use today. The company was one of the original makers of workstation computers which ran on Lisp. The 3600 series was a family of Lisp machines which were manufactured from 1983 to 1986. The 3600 family were popular for artificial intelligence and was believed to be the best platform for developing AI software. Symbolics also made significant advances in software technology and offered one of the premier software development environments of the 1980s and 1990s. The company even got a mention in the movie Jurassic Park. The Lisp programming language eventually faded in popularity and Symbolics Incorporated filed for bankruptcy in 1993. Symbolics became a privately held company which acquired the assets and intellectual property of the old company called Symbolics Incorporated. Symbolics continues to sell and maintain Lisp machines and software. They maintain the Lisp operating system that is still used by some companies and government agencies. In August 2009, the Symbolics.com address was sold for an undisclosed sum to XF.com Investments, now known as Napkin.com Investments. At the time, the CEO of XF.com, Aaron Maystead, stated, We are extremely excited to own the Symbolics.com domain name. For us to own the first domain is very special to our company, and we feel blessed for having the ability to obtain this unique property. The Symbolics company moved to the new domain name, Symbolics-DKS.com. While XF.com owned the Symbolics.com website for a few years, Aaron Maystead noticed that Symbolics.com was getting hundreds and even thousands of people visiting each day without advertising. This traffic came from web browsers who happened to come across the fact that Symbolics.com was the first dot com. On July 2014, the website was redesigned to show a cartoon city that shows you fast facts about the World Wide Web when you click on the building's windows. This was a sort of internet history archive. Aaron Maystead said at the time, We created the city concept to make browsing the site fun, but it also could grow into a revenue generating property if we allow advertisers to sponsor elements in the cityscape. On November 2017, it was redesigned to show the Big Internet Museum, which is a comprehensive internet history archive. The Internet Museum was divided into different sections called wings, which teach you different aspects of internet history. 
These wings include the audiovisual wing, social media wing, technology wing, peripherals wing, gaming wing, meme wing, history wing, and temporary exhibition. On October 2020, the museum's name was changed. The new name is the Internet History Museum, which you have to sign up with your email to access the site. It's the same as the big internet museum, so it still has the same wings. This is how the website looks today. Symbolics.com is a really important piece of internet history, and this year is the 35th anniversary of the Symbolics.com domain name. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Share this video with someone you know so it can reach as many people as possible. Anyways guys, see you later.